Hello, this is Brian Job, technical trainer for Parts Now, bringing you another Parts Now tech tip. Today I want to talk about the blank page that comes out after a print job's completed. You know, normally we'd be thinking about maybe the document's too long for the page, it's picking up an extra sheet of paper in between pages, but it's not happening in between pages. This is only happening at the end of a print job. So what could be causing that? Let's think back through the process. If you have a paper in the machine somewhere, now this error, this problem can actually cause 13 jam error, it can cause a unexpected paper size error, or it's going to either eject a blank page. It's going to do one of the three. Now what's happening is the pickup solenoid over here on the right side, over time has worn down and it's causing the adhesive to come through and stick to the, to the arm that's actually releasing the pickup roller. So it's sending a piece of paper when it shouldn't, all because it's hesitating just for that moment. Okay, let's dig into this a little more. Uh, this is an M605. We're not seeing it as much on this model, but I wanted to show the upgrades they've made to this. So hopefully we won't, won't be seeing as much of this in the future. You will see this problem a lot more on the 4200, 4300, 4250, uh, 4350, the uh, P4015, and poor P4515. M600 series, they seem to have upgraded. When you replace these, order a new solenoid from HP, they will actually come back with the new upgraded pads on there. So hopefully we'll start, start getting rid of this problem in the future. But for now, there's a lot of them in the field. So the way this one comes apart, let's turn it around here. If you had a 4250 or any of the other series, the top cover would have to come off. On the M the M600 series, you don't have to take the top cover off. It has two screws right here at the back. Once those are out, slide the whole cover back and it comes out. Very simple. Okay, now what we're looking at here. Right down here, we have the pickup drive assembly, okay? Right next to that is your pickup solenoid. All right, that's what we're after, is that pickup solenoid right here. So, we're gonna take our screwdriver, one screw. All right, you're gonna unroute your wire all the way back to your DC controller. I made that look too easy. I actually did this before just so it would go faster. <laughs> Pickup solenoid. You're looking at this arm right here. This is the upgraded pad. It's a black pad. The older style had a yellow uh, felt pad. The yellow felt pads were the one that were bad about wearing down. These look like they may hold up better. We'll see over time. But this is what we're looking for. If that hesitates just for a moment when you lift up, then you need to replace the solenoid. Other than that, that's really what's causing your problem. So to reinstall it, you have to make sure it's in place good. Sometimes it can be a little tricky. Make sure it's seated down. You're going to hold it in place. It's where a magnetic screwdriver comes in very handy. All right, get your solenoid back in. Reroute your cables. Plug it back into the DC controller. And then you are good to go. Now you might be asking me, Brian, there's some other felt pads in this machine that, uh, that can cause problems. Should we be worried about those? Well, that's a good question. Uh, there are other pads. You do have a tray one solenoid, can do the same thing. You have a little pad up at the registration assembly where the registration arm comes back. Those can get uh, worn down and stick. Uh, also, you have a delivery flag uh, pad back there to keep down the noise. When those start getting older and sticky, they will cause that flag to stick, which could cause paper jams. So several different things those little pads can cause. This is how you pull the pickup assembly solenoid out. And uh, that should do it for today. This is your Parts Now Tech Tip.